In our previous class, we had seen how to create a RTF template and generate a BIP report using our very first RTF template which we had created with the help of this BI publisher and in for MS Word. In that class, in which we had seen how to create this tabular report output that is what you see over here in the VIP response we are getting the code combination details in the tabular fashion and we had also added the heading for a report now this we had achieved with the help of this table wizard but in this class we will see how we can manually create a table and then add the fields one by one first of all i will go to insert go to the table and i will select four columns over here and two rows select this first of all i will fill up the color for this background i will make this as this next i will write code combination id next i will write account type then the enabled flag over here enabled flag and here the segment Suppose if it is not visible for you, I will make this color as something light. Yeah, and also I will make this bold font and increase the size. Yeah, this looks fine. Next, coming to this data over here, when we select this table wizard, all the tags from our BIP report will be added by Oracle. Now, since we are doing this manually, there is an option called as field. Click on the field. Based on the uploaded sample XML, what we uploaded over here, the sample XML what we uploaded in our previous class. So based on that, the fields will be visible. First, I will be dropping this G1 because we have to loop over this G1. Put the space. Next, the code combination ID. Next, we want account type. It's over here. And then we need the enable flag. Drag and drop it over here. Enable flag. Coming to the segment 3, it's over here. Drag and drop this. Now if you closely observe the F what we Oracle has added, it has added the for each condition on the G1. But in our case, we don't have the for each because we manually added from here the fields. Let me close this first of all. Next, we have to add the for each what Oracle has added for the above table. Same like that we have to add it over here. I have copied the for each condition. Let me just copy and go over to my this one advanced properties for g1 if you closely observe we have to just put for each and the colon so previous tag we will remove so this constructs or the syntax is used from the xslt you can have a look at xslt syntax for your more details click on ok now we are starting the for each on the g1 but we need to end at the end it's like how oracle has done over here if we just double click on the e here oracle has end the for each so similar like that we have to do over here as well i will put one space and then copy this g1 and paste it over here double click on the g1 here i will name this as end g1 and here we need to tell end for each that is end space and the for each then the syntax for which is available over here that is end space and the for each so everything should be within the question mark click on ok now since we have manually created this table we will get rid of the table which we had created in our previous class using the wizard first of all we have to save this and click on this pdf in order to see the output click on the pdf now the table data what we are getting is from the method which we used in this class that is using the fields manually that is by creating the table. So like this we can create a table using the word and then we can manually add the fields and we can loop over each G1 segment using the for each condition. Now I will upload this same over here go over to the catalog click on edit report Switch over to the view as a list, click on plus over here, upload the new RTF template that is over here, demo class 2 and I will tell RTF template 2 and type is RTF template, locale is English, United States, click on upload. So it is telling that the file is already exist, so let me just go over to my view report section. 
here let me switch over to the edit report let me first of all delete our previous rtf template select this and click on delete and delete our layout click on plus we will upload a new one that is today's rtf template select this rtf template i will name this as rtf template 2 type as rtf template and locale as english united states click on upload our rtf template is getting uploaded now click over to the view as list here i will make tdf as my default output format and click on view report it is asking to save click on save the report click on ok and then we have to click on view report So like this we can generate a RTF template and create a BIP report based on the template using the BI publisher add-in for Microsoft Word. Suppose you are wondering how I know the tag or the XSLT syntax for BIP report that is to be used in a specific field then here is the answer that is Oracle has documented in detail how to make use of the XSLT syntax like for example adding the for each on a particular field or if you want to group based on a particular field then you have to write for each colon and then the column name or the field name so this is one of the examples then if you want to create a variable set the variable get the variable data so and so forth things you can have a look at this so here you can get the details on all the accessibility functions xpath syntax expressions which we can use in order to achieve our specific use case so I will give the link for this documentation in the resources section. You can have a look at this. Suppose if you are working on your project or customer implementation, then this documentation will be very useful in order to solve a specific use case for your implementation.